are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Oh, let's talk about the media. Let's talk about the media. ESP, CNN, in particular, the worldwide leader in China. Look, we expected this, right? We expected if Tom Brady would win, both myself and Matrix called this, on our live stream yesterday morning, that Tom Brady would be victorious. Well, everybody in the media, pretty much outside of Skip Bayless, was picking Patrick Mahomes because supposedly he was the GOAT, the new GOAT, which is utterly stupid. Ridiculous. The kid's been to two Super Bowls. He's won one. That's good. Nobody's nobody's taking anything away from Patrick. But they're also giving him way too much, okay? And I like Patrick Mahomes. I do. He's a local boy from here, where I live, basically. And frankly, to be honest with you, if he was uh, outside of playing my Niners last year or outside of playing Captain America... Tom Brady, I probably would have rooted for Patrick. But, uh, you know, if they're playing the Seahawks or the Saints, yeah, I'd have been pulling for Patrick, you know. Any other team, basically. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking Patrick Mahomes versus the GOAT. I'm just not. And I was pulling for Tom. Now, Tom Brady gets disrespected by the media continuously. And they've done so. Ever since the infamous Tom Brady locker room MAGA hat incident of whatever year that was, they have given him virtually no credit. Matrix did a video earlier about Shannon Sharp and Nick Wright. Oh, we're going to give everybody credit except Tom Brady. But Tom Brady was the actual MVP of the Super Bowl. Very quickly, I am wearing our the media is the real virus t-shirt special five days only 12 percent off in honor of the goat promo code tommy goat get you 12 percent off over the next five days anything in the merch store go in grab it that is our biggest discount we've ever given and it's a limited time discount and we are honoring tom brady the goat this week So, as expected, the continued fallout of Tom Brady's victory and ESPN, just this quick, their columnist, their journalist, if you want to call them that, their media figures are starting out 2021, the 2021 season, by doing what they do best, disrespecting Tom Brady. Now, it should be noted Think about this. Tom Brady, between the regular season and postseason, Tom Brady threw 50 touchdowns this year at 43 years old. That is ridiculous. I'm not sure how anybody claims he's not the GOAT at this point. Uh, Look, the the only people in sports, team sports, that even have an argument now is Michael Jordan and Wayne Gretzky, okay? Uh, We talked about the fact. People kind of forgot about Gretzky, but uh, that's the only other two, much less the NFL. Come on. He, He is the GOAT going away. Now, ESPN has released their early NFL power rankings 2021, and let me just make everybody aware. Tom Brady won the Super Bowl on a run that defeated future Hall of Famer Drew Brees, future Hall of Famer Aaron Rodgers, a guy that a lot of people claim is the GOAT. I still don't get that, but okay. Uh, To me, there's not even an argument to be had there. Dude, you got to win more rings. And I'm sorry, you need like three to even start putting your foot into the water of having an argument. And then he beat everybody's supposed new GOAT, Patrick Mahomes. And, yeah, he's a hell of a quarterback. He's a great little quarterback. 
but he's got to play in the league longer. You know, longevity is part of greatness, in my opinion. Okay, and Tom Brady won a Super Bowl in the NFC this time. It's ridiculous. I mean, is there still any argument? Early NFL power rankings for 2021. Where do the Super Bowl champion Bucks and Chiefs rank? And of course, ESPN has put the Tampa Bay Bucks with the GOAT, Tom Brady, at number four. Number four. Tom Brady just won the MVP of the Super Bowl. He just won his seventh Super Bowl. And they still cannot give this team, which, by the way, looks like their defense improved, especially in the playoffs, got much better. Much better. The defense is is feeling itself right now, growing into itself, getting better. It looks to me like potentially the Tampa Bay Bucks could be a better team next year. In all honesty, before the season starts, I I had said if they make the Super Bowl, I didn't think it would be this year because of all the COVID restrictions and the lack of off season, et cetera, et cetera. I thought it would actually be next year if they were going to make the, the Super Bowl. Well, here they are, having just won it. ESPN has the Kansas City Chiefs at number one, and they just got the brakes beat off them. They got the hell beat out of them yesterday by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but ESPN's got them at number one in the power rankings. The Buffalo Bills are number two. The Buffalo Bills are number two. By the way, the Kansas City Chiefs beat them. Number three, and good God, let's keep him elevated as much as possible, the Green Bay Packers. I mean, at this point, it is it is utterly ridiculous. It is utterly ridiculous. We cannot give Tom Brady any credit. We can't even give him credit for winning the Super Bowl going into next year on a team that could, could, theoretically be better if you ask me this tampa bay bucks team can be better if they look they went 11 and 5 this year but the last half of the season they were much improved hell this team could go 13 and 3 12 and 4 14 and 2 next year and win it again and win it again but woke espn has got to keep patrick mahomes elevated to number one and they've got Good God, no matter what, they have got to keep Aaron Rodgers above Tom Brady. No matter what they do, no matter what they do, they have got to keep Aaron Rodgers ahead of Brady in some kind of way when there is no argument. He beat the Packers this year. This year. And it, look, and those two games weren't that close. That last game, yeah, it was a little closer. But that first game, it was a dumpster fire blowout by the Tampa Bay Bucks on Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. And then they just blow the brakes off the supposed mighty Chiefs. And you guys cannot, cannot give Tom Brady, Bruce Arians, and this team enough credit to put them at number one in in the early power rankings for next year? What, I mean, what's hap- what's going to happen between now and the beginning of the season that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers wouldn't go into the year no, ranked number one in the power rankings? Okay, because what this is is really saying this is our final rankings for the year. Now, they may have came out with one, but does that make any sense to you? The Tampa Bay Bucks are fourth in ESPN's early power rankings going into next year, even though uh, they beat the hell out of two of the three teams that are actually in front of them in ESPN's rank. ESPN has turned into a complete joke. And I'm sorry, but, but the Brady hate is absolutely politically motivated. It is what it is. Peace, I'm out. Until next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.